Welcome to a journey like no other, a voyage to one of the most remote and isolated places on Earth. Join us as we embark on an awe-inspiring adventure to the archipelago of Tristan da Cunha, a hidden gem nestled in the vastness of the South Atlantic Ocean. Tristan da Cunha, often hailed as the most remote inhabited island group in the world, has a rich history that dates back to the early 19th century. Discovered by Portuguese explorer Tristão de Cunha in 1506, it remained untouched and uninhabited for centuries until a group of American seal hunters dared to leave their mark. From colonization attempts to its official annexation by the British Empire, this extraordinary archipelago has witnessed a tale of resilience, survival and cultural heritage that has endured through generations. Experience modern-day Tristan de Cunha, a close-knit community that thrives in harmony with the rugged terrain and the ever-changing seas. Discover their unique way of life, shaped by the challenges of isolation and an unwavering spirit of unity. But it's not just the people that make this place extraordinary. Tristan de Cunha is a biodiversity hotspot teeming with an array of rare and endemic species that have adapted to its remote and harsh environment. From towering volcanic peaks to lush valleys and pristine shorelines, the island's dramatic landscapes have captivated the hearts of artists, writers and explorers from around the world. Yet, life on Tristan de Cunha is not without its difficulties. With limited access to healthcare and essential services, the islanders face unique challenges, and their perseverance is a testament to the human spirit's ability to thrive in even the harshest of conditions. But amidst these challenges lies a captivating culture that celebrates tradition, music, and dance, keeping the island's rich heritage alive and vibrant. So join us on this unforgettable journey to Tristan da Cunha, where we'll dive deep into its history explore its unparalleled natural beauty, and immerse ourselves in the unique tapestry of life on one of the world's last untouched frontiers. Tristan da Cunha is a remote and isolated archipelago in the South Atlantic Ocean, often referred to as the most remote inhabited island group in the world. It is part of the British overseas territory known as St. Helena, Ascension, and Tristan da Cunha. Situated approximately 2,400 kilometers, 1,500 miles, from the nearest inhabited land, St. Helena, and about 2,800 kilometers, 1,750 miles. From South Africa, the archipelago comprises several volcanic islands, with the main one named Tristan da Cunha. Other islands include Nightingale Island, Inaccessible Island, and Gauf Island. Tristan da Cunha's history of human settlement dates back to the early 19th century. Portuguese explorer Tristão da Cunha discovered the island in 1506, but it remained uninhabited for centuries. In 1810, American seal hunters led by Captain Jonathan Lambert attempted to establish a colony, but it was short-lived. In 1816, the British Royal Navy placed a garrison on the island officially annexing it in 1817 as part of the British Empire. The island's economy has primarily relied on agriculture and fishing, with limited economic opportunities due to its inhospitable terrain and isolation. The main settlement, Edinburgh of the Seven Seas, is located on the island of Tristan da Cunha, and it is considered one of the most isolated human settlements worldwide, with a relatively small population. Tristan da Cunha boasts unique and diverse wildlife, including several endemic species. Due to its rich biodiversity and unique ecosystems, the archipelago has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Tourism on Tristan da Cunha is minimal, primarily because of its remoteness and lack of tourist infrastructure. Access to the island is limited to ships as it lacks an airport. The few tourists who visit the island are usually adventurous travelers, and those on expedition cruises, drawn by the rugged landscapes and unique wildlife. Governance on the island is part of the British Overseas Territory of St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha. 
the islanders have a measure of self-governance with an administrator appointed by the British government and they hold British citizenship rights. Tristan da Cunha remains a captivating and isolated outpost of humanity where its inhabitants have preserved a unique way of life in the vast South Atlantic Ocean. Its remote location and distinctive ecosystems contribute to its allure as one of the world's most remote and least disturbed places, offering a glimpse into the raw beauty of nature largely untouched by modern development. Despite the challenges posed by its isolation, the resilient community on Tristan da Cunha cherishes its heritage and strives to maintain a delicate balance between preservation and progress. The archipelago's geography is dominated by rugged volcanic peaks and cliffs, providing an awe-inspiring backdrop to the daily lives of its inhabitants. The main island, Tristan da Cunha, boasts an active volcano called Queen Mary's Peak, which is the highest point in the territory, reaching an elevation of 2,062 meters, 6,765 feet. The island's volcanic origin has left behind a remarkable landscape with lava flows, craters, and fertile valleys. Tristan da Cunha's human history is deeply intertwined with its maritime heritage. The islanders have relied on fishing for sustenance and trade for generations. The inhospitable environment makes agriculture challenging, but hardy crops like potatoes and cabbage are cultivated in small patches of arable land. Livestock farming, including sheep and cattle, also plays a crucial role in the local economy. The unique flora and fauna of Tristan da Cunha are a testament to its isolation and have captivated scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. Several plant and animal species have evolved here and are found nowhere else on Earth. The island hosts diverse bird life, including albatrosses, petrels and penguins, with Gough Island being particularly vital for seabird colonies. These species have adapted to the harsh conditions and are part of the delicate ecosystem that makes Tristan da Cunha a biodiversity hotspot. The island's isolation has shaped the character of its close-knit community. The people of Tristan da Cunha are mainly of British descent, with a unique culture influenced by their remote surroundings. Despite the challenges of life on a tiny island thousands of miles from the nearest major landmass, the islanders have fostered a strong sense of unity and camaraderie. The local economy primarily relies on the lobster and crayfish industry, as well as the sale of commemorative coins and stamps, catering to collectors and tourists interested in owning a piece of this remote territory. The island also benefits from financial aid provided by the British government, which helps support essential services and infrastructure. Communication with the outside world is limited, but the internet and satellite connections have somewhat bridged the gap. However, traditional means of communication and storytelling are still vital in preserving the island's history and passing down knowledge to future generations. With its pristine landscapes and unique wildlife, Tristan da Cunha has captured the imagination of many artists, writers and photographers who have visited the island to find inspiration in its natural beauty and isolation. However, strict regulations govern visits to protect the sensitive environment and preserve the tranquility of the island. The archipelago's isolation also means that healthcare facilities are limited, and more serious medical issues often require evacuation to South Africa for treatment. This situation highlights the challenges faced by the islanders in maintaining their way of life while ensuring access to essential services. Despite these challenges, the inhabitants of Tristan da Cunha take pride in their heritage and maintain a strong cultural identity. Traditional island festivals, music and dance are celebrated with enthusiasm, providing a unique glimpse into the island's vibrant culture. In conclusion, Tristan da Cunha remains an extraordinary and enigmatic place, characterized by its remoteness, rich biodiversity, and resilient community. Its history is entwined with maritime exploration, colonization attempts, and the pursuit of self-sufficiency in an isolated setting. The island's awe-inspiring natural beauty 
and unique wildlife continue to attract attention from adventurers, scientists, and nature enthusiasts alike. As the world changes and becomes more interconnected, the people of Tristan da Cunha strive to strike a delicate balance between preserving their traditional way of life and embracing limited opportunities for development and engagement with the global community. As our adventure comes to a close, we bid farewell to Tristan da Cunha, an island paradise lost in time. We hope this glimpse into its isolated beauty and rich history has left you inspired by the resilience of its people and the wonders of its untouched nature. Remember, in this age of hyperconnectivity and fast-paced living, there are still places where time moves at its own pace, where communities thrive in harmony with the land and where the beauty of nature remains untamed. As we leave this enchanting realm, we carry with us the understanding of a place where time stands still, where the power of nature reigns supreme, and where the indomitable human spirit meets the boundless seas. Before we say goodbye, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with all our upcoming content. Until we meet again on our next great exploration through history, time and space. Thank you for watching and see you all again soon.